My name is Shaheen Kazali, and I'm a consultant gynecologist and endometriosis surgeon here at the Lister Hospital Center for Endometriosis and Minimally Invasive Gynecology. We look after women with the most severe form of endometriosis when it has involved the bowel, the ureters, the nerves, the diaphragm, and all sorts of other organs in, in the body. In those situations, we need a multidisciplinary team. So different specialists sitting together, deciding what the best treatment plan would be. And when surgery becomes required, sometimes a team of surgeons need to work together to achieve the best result and the best outcome. We have been treating an increasing number of patients coming from abroad for treatment of their endometriosis. It's not always because the expertise is not available in their home country. It could simply be the wait in their home country being too long, or it could be because they feel comfortable having their treatment in London. UK has one of the best healthcare systems in the world. Or it could be because their disease is particularly complex and require a team of surgeons in different specialties. And that's why patients are happy to travel even outside their country to get the right care. I'm Leandri. I am the uh, endometriosis specialist nurse. My role with the international patients before the surgery really is logistics. So a big part of my role is to have a consultation with them, telephone, text message, email, and just to explain exactly what we want, where we need them, at what time, so that we form almost like a little family away from home. And so I think uh, having a specialist nurse in a, a centre of excellence like we have really makes a difference with that aspect. With very rare exceptions, all our operations are done in a minimally invasive way, either laparoscopically or robotically. The addition of robotic surgery to uh, CMIG at the Lister has helped us treat those particularly complex patients the precision and the magnification and the steady hands that the robot gives me allows me to work in very tight, deep spaces of the pelvis where there are very small nerves and big vessels. And it may not be necessary for all patients, but in some particularly complex cases, I have found the robot to be very helpful. So a lot of my role after the operation is just that safe harbour of reminding them that everything is happening the way that we expected it to. And with the international patients in particular, this is important. They are out of their country, they are out of everything that's familiar. And so that bit really is where I almost wrap my arms around them and just carry them through the first kind of four, five days until they start feeling themselves really. And liaising with family is really one of the big things that I do in that, in that first few days. It was a really big decision to come here instead of getting the surgery at home. Ultimately, I just felt more comfortable and more safe uh, with Mr. Kasali than the doctors at home. My case has just been really severe and I just wanted to make sure it was treated absolutely right. Yeah, I still can't really believe that this finally happened, um, but I feel really relieved being able to go travel, being active again, having a job again. <laughs> I'm absolutely feeling positive about the future. I think my favourite part is when we say goodbye to each other and the patient will say to me, I, I hope I don't hear from you again. Um, and that always makes me feel really good knowing that we've, together, we've done something and it makes it really rewarding. Seeing how you can change someone's life who's been suffering for years, uh, there's just nothing better than that. I, would, I, I can't think of anything else that I would rather do.